Hello, welcome to this episode of The Voice of Spartan. Today is March 23rd, and I'm your host, Natalie. I'm in Cheshire, Connecticut, and today is a very cloudy day. Our topic for today is Pomskis, the cute, fluffy, and lovable dog that looks like a miniature husky. Pomskis are a mix between Pomeranians and Huskies. These dogs were first bred only a couple of years ago, so there's not a long history for this dog breed. Pomsky lifespans range from 13 to 15 years, which is a relatively long life for a dog considering that in the dog years, that's 90 to 100 years old. The average weight and height for this breed is 20 to 30 pounds and 10 to 15 inches, but will vary depending if the puppy has more traits of the Husky or Pomeranian. Speaking of traits, let's talk about behavioral traits of these dogs. Unfortunately, Pomskis do not have a very stable temperament because it's not always known which parent the Pomsky will share the most traits with. Although they are not always stable, Pomskis are normally always on high alert and are very protective of their owners. So they make excellent guard dogs. Pomskis are very energetic, so they need a lot of exercise. Pomskis are also known to be very intelligent. As with any pet, you will need to care for them, so some health caring needs of this dog are that they need to have their teeth brushed daily due to the fact that it's common for Pomskis to have dental problems. Also, they need to be taken on daily walks and need to be brushed daily due to the fact that it helps lessen the amount of hair that Pomskis shed. So now that we know a little bit more about this breed, let's welcome our guest, Shay. So to start off, what got you involved in breeding Pomskis? Um, that is a kind of funny question. Um, me and my husband got married, and the day that we were getting married, um, his sister-in-law was talking about how she created this breed and um, how she saw a lot, a lot of people see this uh, one puppy and say, oh, this is a Pomsky, they say this. Uh, size otherwise. That's actually not a Pomsky, but she got the idea to create a Pomsky from that picture. She mm-hmm. said, oh, I wonder if, if that would be possible to make it. So she was telling us about how she, she did, and, um, and and she was kind of like saying um, how sweet they are and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and so, you know, I was in my wedding dress and stuff, we were talking about this and stuff. And we decided that uh, maybe we would want to give that a shot when, when uh, we got settled down and start living normal life again after the wedding. Oh, well, that's really cool. <laughs> um, so my second question is, in general, can you describe the general disposition of the Pomsky breed? Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. Pomskis are, are very, pretty much the same, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, they're... They're all very uh, sweet, very friendly, energetic, loving, um, but they, they aren't like crazy hyper, um, whereas Pomeranians are. They can, uh, they can sometimes be overwhelming with how hyper they are, and then Huskies can get very, uh, Huskies can be very um, independent, and so if you want a friendly dog, then, um, Sometimes huskies uh, like to sit alone, or like uh, they don't really like to cuddle. So Pomskis are really just that perfect middle ground for for dogs. <laughs> yeah, I know how you were talking about with the Pomeranian. I I recently had one, and he was just super energetic whenever anyone came to the door. So I kind of understand. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Um, another question is, what are some of the traits you find most common in your dogs? Um, the Pomskis, uh, they get bored a lot. Um, they're very, very smart dogs, and so they need to be entertained. And so if you keep them in a, uh, in your yard or something, you'll find that Pomskis are escapists. Um, they can climb... Uh, they can climb fences that are like the chimney fences. They can climb those and get out, and they'll only get out to get to you usually. Sometimes they do run. Um, if you go to a park and you let them off the leash, they'll probably run as far away as possible. And then they'll come back if they aren't lost already. But they, they love to figure out how to get out of things. They're like Houdini. Uh, so, <laughs> um, that's, 
definitely one of them. You need to like really keep their mind uh, busy, keep them entertained. <laughs> <laughs> they sound really fun. So if someone was interested in getting a Pomsky, like what type of family environment would you recommend to them? Um, they can get along with anyone. They get along with um, all animals as long as they uh, come up with them. Okay, I don't want to say that. They don't I've never had them around, you know, uh, a big chicken or something, but, um, but they've been around with cats and other dogs and stuff, um, and they, uh, they also get along with kids, they get along with adults, they even get along with, you know, older people, I, I tell them, uh, I tell my customers, you know, um, they, you can have a huge yard and be able to, uh, love and care for them with that, or you can live in a small apartment. I mean, as long as you give them the attention they need, um, they're great with anyone. So, um, you said that your dogs, like, they're good with, like, other dogs, like, yeah. but are they good with, like, really big dogs as well? Um, yes, they, uh, as long as the big dog is nice, um, <laughs> I know some of the dogs can be intimidating, but once, uh, usually the bigger dogs, they're just, like, big cuddle buddies. <laughs> they're usually just intimidating by size, but usually, you know, they're really sweet. So, Pompeys really do get along, um, especially if they're raised with them as a puppy, um, because the Pompeys aren't intimidated by size. Um, as puppies, so they'll just like go up to anything, and which is kind of scary because um, if you're not watching your tiny little puppy, they can uh, get themselves into danger because they're just so curious. But yeah, they really do get along with any dog. Like I have a lot of younger cousins who, if I got a Pomsky, would love to play with them. Would they? Uh -huh. Would they get, like, nervous that a bunch of little kids were coming around near them playing with them? No, they're, they're Pom Pomeranian type would probably uh, <laughs> kick in, and they would probably get so happy to see so many visitors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, Huskies have a lot of energy. Do, do Pomskies have a lot of energy like that, or are they more mellow? Yeah, um, like I was saying, uh, they... They can be very mellow, which is a uh, good, um, you know, when it's time for bed, they can get mellow. They, um, or when it's just time to relax, they get mellow. They know, they really do know when a good time is to be friendly. When you're excited, they can play with you, but they're not crazy. So, I know that Pomeranians can be very stubborn. Do Pomskis tend to be stubborn? Um, you know... Pomskies are easier to train, I think. Um, but like I was saying, they they like to run away. They like to escape. They they will come back if they're not lost <laughs> by then. But they they really like to figure things out and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if if you take them to training classes, they will know how to be trained and they will they will do the things that you say. Um, they, they just, they really have a mind of their own, it's weird, but they, they're very smart, they, they obey, but if they can figure something out and do something else, then they'll do that. Okay. <laughs> so, it's kind of a mixture, they are kind of stubborn. <laughs> so, I read online that Pomskis tend to be picky eaters, like, in your experience, have you found this to be true? No, not at all. Um, they eat whatever, really. Um, if you start spoiling them with just canned food or something like that, mm -hmm. then they'll be picky eaters. I think that's just with any dog, though. Um, I mean, if, if you start giving them, like, a steak for dinner, <laughs> they're not going to want food. Um, but no, they really, they, uh, I tell my customers they can get any dog food that they want. Um, they just mix it uh, with the dog food I have to wean them off. Um, and they are great with any dog food. Uh, you just have to give them the correct type of dog food. Like if they're a puppy, you want to give them dog food. Yeah. And so make sure, just make sure it's like a good dog food. It's not just a bunch of fillers. But so don't eat whatever. Okay. And they don't overeat. Okay. So that's all so good. Yeah, I have a Cavalier, and she, for the first few months, she would not eat any food unless it was like canned food, and then she started getting into the... Oh, okay, fine, I'll eat this. 
So, <laughs> so um, in terms of shedding, do Pomskis like shed a lot? Mm -hmm. This is a weird question. They, um, they don't shed very often at all until they blow their coat. They blow their coat twice a year, mm -hmm. and that means that their entire undercoat comes out, and they have very thin, uh, they have a very thin overcoat, so it's really good for that summer and stuff. Yeah. But that just means there's I'm just scared that she comes out and falls out, and it's just crazy. And so if you don't, if you don't brush it, it can be a nightmare. But you can brush it all out. Um, like the Huskies and Pomeranians actually go through this too. So I took uh, one of my Huskies. Uh, we just went outside, and I was brushing her outside, and all her hair just was pulling in the wind. And it looked like it was raining hair, but yeah, it was. Uh, pretty messy. <laughs> but only for, you know, just that one day, is if you can brush it out, it only takes an hour. But if you don't brush it out, it can take months. But it's all out on its own. Yeah, I could see how that could be, like, good and also a little bit bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so finally, um, what about this dog breed, like, do you love, and what general advice would you give to someone looking for someone to get a Pomsky? Oh, I love Pomsky. Um, yeah, the, uh, I would say the, the best thing about the Pomsky, I don't know, like, the size of breeds, um, because, and that's what we breed them for, is to look like a husky, because huskies are beautiful. I've always loved huskies. Mm -hmm. since, uh, you know, as little ones, yeah, they're just gorgeous dogs. And we breed them to look as much like a husky as possible, but to have that small Pomeranian size. And so with that, then you have this little wolf, you know, <laughs> it's probably like a 20-pound wolf walking around. It's so cute. And then um, and they act like the sweetest dogs ever. They, you know, they're not intimidating. And that's also a good, good thing about their size. No one's going to come up to your dog and be like, well, it's bite, you know, it's not going to bite. You were, if you were going to give some advice to someone looking for a dog, what advice would you get, like, for a Pomsky? Um, for a Pomsky, like, if anyone was looking for any type of dog, I would definitely say, um, do your research. If you want, like, uh, some dog to watch over your farm, that's in it for you. Um, if you have very little time in your day and you need to chew up your dog, or um, just leave it in the house uh, to roam around by itself. This isn't for you. Mm -hmm. But if you if you can you have a lot of time, um, or have, like I mean, you can have a normal work schedule. You can leave it up in the yard. But you need to make sure that you have um, fences that it can't climb over or dig under. You know? mm -hmm. So you need to make sure that if it is uh, going to be by itself for you know, 40, 40 hours a week, maybe you should get another dog um, as a friend uh, mm -hmm. so that he, so he or she isn't bored. Yeah. Um, definitely just do your research. We have, uh, I work for um, Paramount Palmskies, that's my county, and uh, we have a website and we talk about uh, all, everything there is really to know. Um, Kind of like what we're just talking about right here, like um, just the veneer and stuff of the palm skis and stuff. So there's plenty of places to find what palm skis are like. And if it doesn't suit your family, then you shouldn't get one because they're going to drive you crazy. Because if you let them out all day and all night in your house because you're not home, you don't wash them, they're going to get into stuff. They're like toddlers. They want... Their minds are very busy and they want to learn. And so they'll whip something up and it's going to be you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Yeah, no problem. Okay, yeah. this is actually really helpful for me. So thank you so much. And You're welcome. Yeah. That's great talking to you. You too. Okay, bye. 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 So
So today we learned about Pomsky's and some of the most common traits. For example, we learned about how Pomsky's can have a lot of energy and can sometimes be stubborn. As we learned from Shay that Pomsky's are great for all sorts of family and were bred to be miniature huskies with all of the same traits. Hopefully this podcast has changed some of your views about Pomsky's. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time on The Voice of Spartans.